G'day. In today's video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on this Samsung here. Now, to begin with, we're going to want to open it up, but we want to make sure that there is no SIM card in here or SD card. We are vacant, that is good. So I've had on my heat pad here at 75 degrees. It's rather toasty. To begin with, we want to take the back cover off. So we should just be able to use a pry tool and go between the, the back cover and the assembly. So like that. So we should be getting some separation like this. so that's enabled us to get into it. Now from here, we're wanting to disconnect the battery. So we'll use some tweezers to lift that up. I'll zoom in here. This latch here goes up and this bit here pulls back. There we go, so now we've got one battery disconnected. I want to disconnect the digitizer up the top here. Flip out of the way. There we go. I believe this cable here is for the display. Now I do believe this is only a daughter board or goes to the back of the display and there's a connector down here as well. But to begin with we want to disconnect up the top. You can use a nail to do that as well but it's just easier for you guys to see with me using the tweezers. That's that disconnected from there. Do note as well there is two different versions of this display. So with it, you'll see there'll be one like mine, which has the connector up here and down here. There is one for the S Pen, which has another connector coming around here, which this model, I don't believe, has that. So we don't need to be too concerned about it, but it is something to note. Now, how are we going to get this screen out of here? So I've had it on the heat pad here at 75 degrees. And now I'm going to use my pry tool along the front. Warning, glass fragments will be coming out. Actually, I may even go the thin metal pry tool method. So using this and some isopropyl alcohol. And I should be able to cut in I think I'm just going to go brute force on this. Being as the glass is stuck to the display. Thus, that's why I'm doing the glass and display as one part. As you can see here.
Uh, so I have actually been able to separate the touch panel. Uh, so my main supplier didn't actually sell this as a standalone part, they were only selling it together. Which leaves me a tad disappointed, because if you were doing digitizer only, it would be considerably cheaper. So I'll continue to remove the glass fragments out of here. I'm just going to quickly clean up the bench. Yeah, a bit cleaner. Yeah, I'm going to clean. If you were to do the digitizer only, give the, the screen a clean off from there. You'd also clean off around the edges, which I'm going to do anyway. There's a lot of glass fragments tend to hide in there. And also being that's where the adhesive was, it tends to be very sticky. Clean it out with a flat, pry, uh, flat scraping tool or a screw, flat screwdriver. And just go around the edges. Since I'm also removing the, the, the display, let's see how we go. Let's compare. Yep, that will go in there fine. Now I feel like if I took the battery out, I'd be able to push it out from the inside. But since I'm being lazy at this point, I'm just going to try and pry it up and out. Like that. I can hear the adhesive in there. So I'm going to pry a bit around the middle. I'm holding that. Another pry tool. fully lifted. There we go. Fold that around. And we now have this connection here. Now if 
feed feed it through like that. This is what we see. We have one display. So now going back to the tweezers, lift up the tape, lift the latch up again, and pull that out. So now I can get rid of that. I want to give this another clean with a toothbrush. Also find running your finger over it as well it does give you a good idea on if there's any glass fragments. As if there is, you will end up with some in your finger. do here, reinstall the cable, up and slide that in and latch down. Also from there, Are we? No. Just looking at the top bit up here, which I wasn't sure if that was adhesive, but no, I don't believe it is. Take this off and reveal your digitizer. Now you put this back over that connector on the new screen. It's not vital, but it helps. So now we're all nicely covered over. Then what I'm going to do from here is I'm not going to put any adhesive on here just yet. Well, actually, no, I will. Some old B7000. And I'm just going to go around the outer perimeter. You can use double-sided tape, but find that usually fails and ends up being a waste of time so ever since purchasing this stuff it goes on quite a lot of things now anything that's designed not to become to come apart we usually get this on there and it's not too bad to clean up at the end it does take a little bit of time but if you have to redo a job and this is on there it as long as you're precise with where you need to put it you should be able to get it open and redo it without having too much drama. Now I'm going to feed this through the hole just here. If it will go through. Yes, bingo. Feed that through. And I'll sit the bottom section down like so. Now we'll go back up to the top. Now I need to feed the digitizer through. There we go. So make sure it's nice and flush sitting in here. Which and just I typically just squeeze around it to work it in. And I need to flip up the latch once more. Latch goes up. I had to get a little bit of adhesive on there, but that's not enough that it's going to stick it. Or it very well may be. There we go. Feed that into there. There we go. There's two little holes here and here. They need to be all the way up, like so. Latch goes back over and we're good. And this goes over the top. We go to here. Similar scenario minus the latch, just feed it in. 
Push it, push it, push it there. Latch over. And there you go. And we'll reconnect the battery as well. Just remember the latch goes up. Battery con connector slides in. There we go, up to here. Latch goes back down. Cover back over it. And from there we need to put the back cover back on. So I'm gonna start from the bottom. I'm not too sure which direction it's recommended to start from, but slide the bottom cover over might have it, have it around the right way more accurately I'll start from the top top over push down push push I'll work around the other side as well Click, click, click. Make sure when you're pushing down with pressure to do it on the, on the corner of the assembly, not on the screen itself, or else you will risk cracking. There we go. One reassembled Samsung Galaxy SMT 580. So I hope this helps you with your reassembly. And I'll catch you another time in another video. Bye.